Hello everybody, Andrew Majewski here. Please excuse the mess behind me. This is what working from home looks like and I have been doing a lot of teaching today so I didn't necessarily have time to tidy up back there. But let's talk about, so how do I feel as a dental hygienist returning back to work? Now I must say I'm one of the few, I, I think, that is not scared to go back to work. I mean that might be a very strong term, that might be a very strong word, but there are a lot of dental uh, professionals who are seriously terrified to go back to work. They don't feel like they're ready or that we are as a whole and they just really shouldn't be doing that. So let me tell you first, if you're nervous to go back to work, you guys, don't go. Nobody can make you go back to work. If you don't want to go back to work, don't go back to work. Okay. It is really that simple. Don't go back to work. But I am looking forward to it because I truly feel that oral health is so important and I'm looking forward to getting back to the, to the normal again or the new normal again and just kind of moving along with it. Um, but that's how I feel. I will be having all of that PPE. I will be doing everything that the CDC recommends, the CDHO, CDHA, all of that. I will be doing everything possible. Um, I will be preparing my patients for what to expect because we will have a new normal, meaning I will be screening patients before I actually see them. Um, I am a mobile hygienist as well. So what I plan to be doing is having them take their temperature at home, um, obviously pre-screening um, pre them that morning, asking them questions. Are you sick? Have you been sick? Do you feel sick? And um, probably doing their updated medical history over the phone. So that way I get all of that done before I'm at their house, right? Um, I will also be having them sign a new consent form that will have in there somewhere saying something like, if you uh, uh, develop COVID or get sick after I see you, or if I get sick um, after I see you, I won't be holding you responsible. You won't be holding me responsible because we just never know, right? If if we do get it, knock on wood, if it came from that house or from something else, right? So I will be changing up my consent forms a little bit that way too. I did purchase a lot of different lab coats because I will be changing my uniform plus lab coat after every single house that I go to. When I'm in their house at the end of the appointment, I'll be changing out of everything, just putting on regular clothes, um, getting in my car. But then when I go to the next house, I'm going to, after I see them, after I take their temperature again, before I do actually um, do anything on them, I'm going to change again when I'm in their house, change again into a new um, uniform, lab coat, PPE, all of that, and get ready. So things will definitely be changing. Um, but having that said, as a mobile hygienist, you're going to want to lug in everything, right? So you would want to lug in everything first and then get changed before you're actually in their mouth. Um, so I'm looking forward to all of that. I am looking forward to I've been keeping updated as much as I possibly can with the CDC, with all of these courses, with this, the um, CDHO. I'm here in Ontario, so I pay attention to what they say. Um, offices in the States have been opening, but here there just aren't any yet, but they are talking about being as prepared as possible. Um, there's actually a dentist who I do talk to often. Um, I used to work with him for like 12 years. So he's been updating me sort of of what he hears from the RCDSO, um, the Dental Association. So he's been updating me with that too. So then that way we kind of have the most well-rounded information as possible. Um, if I was returning back to work in a dental practice, I would want to make sure that my my boss had to have enough PPE for everybody because they need to make sure to have a face shield for everybody. That shouldn't be your responsibility if you're working there, right? Um, it will be your responsibility, I'm sure, to get the lab coats and everything, but that depends on your boss and sort of um, the arrangement that you all had there when you first started working. But So I'm kind of glad I don't have to worry about that, but also being a mobile hygienist, I just feel better about about it too because I'm not going into a dental office seeing or being exposed to potentially 30 patients, right? I'm just going to one person's house, being exposed to them, being exposed to that, and they're just being exposed to me. 
they're not going into a dental office being exposed to potentially 30 different people, right? But that's where dental professionals are amazing. We will be doing everything we possibly can. We have always followed standard precautions. What does that mean? That means we treat everybody as if they are potentially infectious because patients aren't always truthful with us. So we would always be disinfecting, sterilizing, not touching, you know, we would always be doing that anyway. We're just kicking it up a notch right now. So you, um, you guys, I'm looking forward to getting back to work to the new normal again. There will be a lot of changes. I'm going to be preparing my patients for these changes. Um, but I am looking forward to it. So let me know your thoughts as a dental professional and thank you for commenting. Click like if you guys like this video and I will talk to you guys very soon.